We now begin the main part of tonight's service, which is the Christmas cantata, Celebrate the Child Who is the Light, written, created, and arranged by Tom Becky, and put together and arranged by our music director, Cheryl Wirtz, our choir director, Julie Schmidt, and all of the members of the choir who, forgive me, I don't have everybody's name, so I'm not going to insult anyone and forget your name, but we will make sure we thank you all at the appropriate time. Part one of the cantata, Celebrate the Child. have seen a great light. On those living in a land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. Arise, shine, for your light has come. Sing hallelujah to the mighty God. Sing 
relating to the Christmas spirit. I nod when they say, put the Christ back in Christmas. I say, yes, yes, when they shout commercial and hectic, hectic, hectic. After all, I am getting older. And I have heard it said, Christmas is for children. But somehow, a follow line keeps creeping out. So I'll say, I love Christmas pencil and angel voices that come from the beds upstairs. And I say three cheers for Santa Claus and the Salvation Army bucket and all the wrappings and festivities and special warm feelings. I say it is good giving, praising, celebrating. So hooray for Christmas trees and candlelight and the good old church passion. You can tell this poem was not written this year. Hooray for shepherd boys who forget their lines, and wise men whose beards fall off, and a Mary who giggles. Oh Lord, you were born. Oh Lord, you were born. And that breaks in upon my ordered life like bugles blaring, and I sing, Park the herald angels in the most unlikely places. You were born and I will celebrate. I rejoice for the carnival of Christmas. I clap for the pajama clad cherubs and the Christmas cards jammed in the mail slot. I oh for the turkey and ah for the Christmas pudding. And thank God for the alleluias I see in the faces of people I don't know and yet know very well. Oh Lord, there just aren't enough choir boys to sing what I feel. There aren't enough trumpets to blow. Oh Lord, I want bells to peal. I want to dance in the streets of Bethlehem. I want to sing with the heavenly host, for unto us a son was given, and he was called God with us. For those of us who believe, the whole world is decorated in love. The angel Gabriel said to Mary, do not be afraid, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no husband? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. Holy, Holy,
I wonder if God comes to the edge of heaven, each advent, and flings the star into the December sky, laughing with joy as it lights the darkness of the earth. And the angels, hearing the laughter of God, begin to congregate in some celestial chamber to practice their alleluias. I wonder if there's some ordering of rank among the angels as they move into procession. The seraphim bumping the cherubim from Oxford, the new inhabitants of heaven standing in the back until they get the knack of it. After all, training air over a stable and enunciating at the same time can't be all that easy. Or is everybody, that is every soul, free to fly wherever the spirit moves? Or do they even think about it? Perhaps when God calls, perhaps they just come, this multitude of heavenly hosts. Perhaps they come winging through the winds of time, full of expectancy, full of hope, that this year, perhaps this year, perhaps, the earth will fall to its knees in a whisper of peace. There were shepherds living out in the fields near Bethlehem keeping watch over their flocks by night. Suddenly an angel of the Lord stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the city of David, a savior has been born for you. He is Christ the Lord and this will be a sign to you. You will find the baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly there appeared with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased.
is named The Child is Born Again. Each year, the child is born again. Each year, some new heart finally hears, finally sees, finally knows love. And in heaven, there is great rejoicing. There is a festival of stars. There is a celebration among the angels. For in the finding of one lost sheep, the heart of the shepherd is glad. And Christmas, Christmas has happened once more. The child is born anew, and one more need is thou. After the shepherds saw the Christ child, they returned to their fields, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen. Christmas comes like a golden storm on its way to Jerusalem, determinedly, inevitably. Even now it comes, in the face of hatred and glory, no atrocity too terrible to stop it, no Herod strong enough, no hurt deep enough, no curse 
shocking enough, no disaster shattering enough. For someone on earth will see the star. Someone will hear the angel voices. Someone will run to Bethlehem. Someone will know peace and goodwill for Christ will be born. Stranger, 
prophesied, now arrived, Jesus is born. He was called the new creation, the new covenant, the Son of God, who brought who all who listened, who saw, who understood, came and new life. But kings, presidents, corporations, and churches of this world work very hard to keep things as they are out into forever. Amen. And so they killed him. He who said, love one another. He who said, feed my sheep. For they didn't want to share their bread and their wine. Now the story should have ended there. Except that the story has always been that our God is the God of the covenant. The good news is that in spite of our faithlessness, God is faithful, and Jesus Christ was resurrected. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believed might have everlasting life. Listen, you who have ears to hear, Listen and sit down to bread and wine with strangers. Feed the sheep. Love one another. And claim new life in his name. My 
my good friends, as I thought today about what it is that I could add to the words that the choir has sung and the scripture that Glenn narrated during the cantata, and to the words of the poetry of Anne Weems, there really is not an awful lot without, as they would say, beating a dead horse. And on Christmas Eve, no one wants to hear the pastor hitting the same tone three, four, five times. So I will just repeat what Anne Weems wrote in this last poem. For us, on Christmas Eve, remembering the birth of Jesus the Christ in that manger in Bethlehem, the good news is that in spite of our faithfulness, faithlessness, God is faithful. God keeps God's covenant. God remembers us and always and ever comes back with the invitation, come unto me. So that when we hear the invitation to come to God, we remember on this night that God loved the world, the people in it, so much that God was able to give God's Son to come and be human like we are. That the divine walked among us, became one of us. Listen to that. Remember that promise in all of the drama, in all of the turmoil that we hear if we turn on the news. Remember that. While we and our leaders may be faithless, God is faithful. Listen, you who have ears to hear this Christmas Eve, Listen and sit down. Sit down to bread and wine with strangers, not just people that look like you or that you know, but sit down with strangers. For all are God's children, all are God's sheep. Let's feed them. Let's love them. Let's love one another and thereby claim new life in the name of the Christ child whose birth we celebrate tonight.